Good morning. So this morning I want to talk about no contact, now what? Um, so no contact is when you completely go cold turkey on your abuser. So um, if you're like me, in the situation I experienced, I was so used to being controlled and talking to him every day and he knows my every move and he's in control of what I do um, until it's almost like you are have an addiction. So going no contact is similar to going cold turkey, like on when you stop smoking cigarettes or you start drinking alcohol. Um, so I sit around and I'm like, okay, I'm not talking to him, I'm not texting him, I'm not letting him know what I'm doing. But we have to remember that no contact is about us, it's about you, it's about your healing. Um, when you're in no contact, you don't call him, you don't text them, whoever your partner is, him or her. Um, you don't check their Instagram, their Facebook. You go cold turkey, and it's really, really hard. So one thing that I've learned to do is to make a list of the good and the bad, but mostly the bad things I remembered about him, and just put it all over your wall, in your cell phone, and it'll help you not reach out to that person. Um, because that's part of the trap. They want you, they, they, they think you're going to come back, because if that's a pattern of behavior, you've left and you've come back, they're going to expect that you're going to go back. So going no contact is about you. So I suggest go find some form. There's a great form on YouTube, um, Narcissist Support. There's a great Facebook page, Narcissist Support. Even if it's emotional abuse or domestic violence, no contact can be really, really hard. So find a therapist if you can. Make that pros and cons list. Look at as many videos on YouTube as you want to. And just remember, it's about you. It's really good. It's like an addiction. Um, but you can do it. It, it, it just take one day at a time and you can break the cycle of emotional manipulation control and narcissistic abuse. See you guys later. It's my HGT.